There are several tests that screen for breast cancer and may also be used during cancer treatment. For women who are at average risk of developing breast cancer at this point in time, what we recommend is that they start screening mammograms beginning at age 40 and have that done every year. A screening mammogram involves an X-ray of the breast with very low radiation. A screening mammogram means that you are having two pictures taken of each of your breasts. You should not wear deodorant, perfume, lotion, or any other cosmetic product before the mammogram, as these products can distort the mammogram giving a false negative or false positive. A diagnostic mammogram is done if the screening mammogram is abnormal or there are signs such as a lump felt in the breast or nipple discharge. A three-dimensional or 3D mammogram takes multiple X-ray images of a compressed breast. This produces a series of images that can be viewed individually or one after another. In some cases, other types of imaging may be needed to detect breast cancer. Ultrasound uses sound waves to show the internal structures of the breast. Ultrasound may be used for women with dense breasts and during pregnancy to reduce exposure to X-rays. There are some women who, in addition to the mammogram, may benefit from an annual MRI, which is a different kind of test for the breast. MRI is not used for every patient, but may be needed if you are at a high risk for breast cancer, have unclear findings on a mammogram or ultrasound, or have a high genetic risk of developing breast cancer. Women who are at higher risk for developing breast cancer, such as those who have a BRCA mutation or a very strong family history, may benefit from a supplemental MRI in addition to the yearly mammogram. A biopsy is the only way to confirm breast cancer. A biopsy is the removal of tissue to examine cells. There are different types of breast biopsies. A fine needle biopsy, a core needle biopsy, or a stereotactic or 3D biopsy, which uses mammography compression to locate the tumor to remove cells. You can find out more about each of these biopsies in the booklet, which accompanies this video. So this is the breast tumor infiltrating fibrous tissue. Right. Yeah, so, so these are the, the cells, and the, the dark spots are the nu nuclei yeah. of the cells, and they're larger and darker than a normal cell. So the pathology report is very complicated. It addresses a lot of different um, elements. Um, and I think it's very difficult for a patient to read. Sometimes it's uh, overwhelming information. Um, and I think it's best for the patients to work with their surgeon, their oncologist, the radiation oncologist to determine the best steps moving forward. Some patients will also ask whether or not it is necessary after a breast cancer diagnosis to undergo CAT scans or PET scans. The purpose of a CAT scan and a bone scan is to see whether or not the breast cancer is also outside of the breast and lymph nodes. It's a very different test that is looking at other parts of the body and not the breast. Breast cancer cells are tested to see if they are sensitive to the female hormones estrogen, or ER, and progesterone, or PR. The reason why this information is important is because it helps us make treatment decisions for you after your surgery is complete. Cancer cells are also tested to determine if your breast cancer has a copy of the gene called human epidermal growth factor receptor, or HER2. And the reason why that receptor status is also important is because it allows us to give you specific targeted treatments as part of your plan for breast cancer care. If your breast cancer does not express estrogen or progesterone or HER2 receptors, then we usually will call that type of breast cancer a triple negative breast cancer. 